Hey, what up? Holy shit, I have not made a video in a while. I am really sorry about the inconveniences, but my uh, fucking graphics card died and I could have not, uh, I wasn't able to access my computer. So all the comments I replied and shit, I did it on my phone um, and uh, I couldn't look at anything. So yeah, got my new graphics card recently and now I can make videos again. I've also been suffering from some personal issues, but um, I'm not going to talk about that shit right now. Right now, I'm going to show you the next uh, part of the new, of the fucking tutorial series that I'm doing, the adventure game. And here, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead to this like, character and uh, click the buy item and uh, get an item but now because we do not have any gold we do not have enough money to buy the item we gotta collect it first all of this has been um, shown how you're able to do this and how you do this are um, uh, is shown in the previous videos so I really recommend it going from the start of this series if you are just tuning in but if you just want to see for some reference, you can watch this video. So basically, when you have the gold, you click buy, you get the item. So you can hold tab to check the inventory again and click buy, you're going to get the item. And as long as you have gold, you're going to be able to collect the item. Now, to make this look prettier, you can have the, for example, an icon of a sword pop up like um, next to this and like click buy and then you see what you're buying. But this is just for um, sakes of showing you how to do this. So... It's pretty simple. Um, all of these things are in the previous video, so I recommend watching them if you have not. Um, but if you have, let's get to this. So the script is pretty simple. We have a currency script with, uh, which um, keeps track of how much gold we have later in order to see if we can buy the item. Inventory script, it uh, checks the inventory script so, in order, uh, so it can add the item to the inventory. The public game object vendor UI, this is the UI that um, pops up when we enter the vendor trigger. The public integer cost, this is the cost that the, you have to, this is the amount of money you have to have in order to buy the item. So on the start function, I set the vendor UI, to set, uh, I set it uh, to false with the set active function because we do not want to see it from start. Um, the script, um, I, it's a, uh, I set it to game object, I'll find with tag, game controller, get component currency. Same thing with inventory script. We have this game controller over here. I've explained all of this in previous videos, so if you watched all of these videos, this all should be similar to you. So I have this event system. You can create it over here. Game object create and create a. I think it's a 3D object, or um, I'm not sure. Create a. Oh no, it's UI, and then you have the event system. You get all these scripts and things. I've tagged the game controller, and here I keep my currency and my inventory script because it's a game controller. Here on the, oh, sorry. Um, here on the on trigger enter, um, I set the vendor UI to set active true and I make the cruiser visible because so we can like, and I unlock it, but it's from a different script. And on the trigger exit, I set it back to false. So now here we have this public void because what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and uh, click on the, um, we wanna go ahead and click on the button that appears. So we have to make it into a public, uh, how do I say, function or a void. That's how it's called in C Sharp. Because we're using that function to set the functionality of the button, what happens when you click it. So here we have a public void by item. And I've made this, um, how do I say, local variable, which is a game object, which is the object to create. Uh, I'll show you how this looks like later and why is it put over here. But basically when you have a function and when you have a... Um, uh, variable in these brackets for example for the uh, UI um, here it is by um, so basically when you set the script on the on click command you're gonna have this uh, vendor and you're gonna have this variable over here which is the um, which is the variable you want that will basically it has the functionality when you click on the thing you might not understand this right now but you're gonna understand it when I show you later if so, if we check if the script.gold is more than the or equals to the cost, it's gonna get the script.gold, it's gonna reduce it by the cost. And game object i, this is just a temporary game object we created, so we don't set the um, because uh, how do I say this? You we create this temporary game object because the temporary game object is the instantiated version of the object to create. 
And this, the instantiated object that we just created, we set that object's parent to the inventory script dot inventory tab dot transform. This is basically adding the object to the inventory part. That's how my inventory script works. If you should check that video to see what I did there. Because if, would, if, um, if I didn't have this temporary game object, it would just create a clone of this object to create, but it would set the object to create's uh, transform from the actual, like, um, how do I say, from the actual, uh, I don't know where I've put this, but from the actual assets, which is not available, you cannot do that in Unity, and it's just going to give you an error. So you create this temporary game object, you set the the thing, the temporary game object to the instantiated version of the object that you want to create, and you set its parent. So basically that's it. Now how you do this is you basically create UI, you create a button, so this is the buy button. You're gonna get all of this. You click the on click, and um, you go. Uh, you need to attach the script to it. So basically, go on. Um, you're gonna have it like this is gonna be empty. Let me just show you. I'll do it like this. You have this button. You have this on click list is empty. You click the plus um, icon, and on the object thing, you drag the game object that has the vendor script on it. So make sure that you have a box or whatever that you want to use as your collider, make sure that the collider is tagged trigger and add the vendor script to the box. After you added that, you go on the buy, you go on the button that you created and you drag the vendor um, game object to the object. And then you set the function to be vendor and um, you make it a, let me just find it, buy item game object. And as you can see, this thing in the brackets over here is the type of the variable that it takes in. So it takes in a game object and over here you select the game object that you want to create. So for me, it's the sword icon. And now you have it. I'm just going to delete this. You can make it look prettier, for example, making an empty game object, making another like image and um, in the image, like make a sword, place it next to the buy thing. You can make it pretty, you can do work on it however you like. This is just for testing purposes. And uh, basically that's it. It's a pretty simple concept because uh, all of the hard things I, ha I think that uh, have been done, health, um, um, fighting, I'm not sure fighting is going to be in the game, but health could be pretty simple, food, temperature, all those things, equipping armor, equipping things from your inventory, that's all simple. The, all of the layers, the foundations to everything that I want to add on, I think have been added, have been already created, and uh, everything's simple from now on. And uh, if you guys want um, I know when this uh, thing is going to be released. Um, if you donate, uh, you get to add me on Skype. I'll make a separate video about that. But basically, if you donate, you get to add me on Skype. You get to ask me questions if you have any. Um, you get to you get to talk to me. You get to do whatever you want. And um, you also get the project files when I've done a couple more videos and until I think that uh, it's uh, suitable for being released. Now I cannot sell it because um, it has Unity standard assets and everything. So think of it as donating to me and I'm just sending you a project that I've created using the Unity standard assets and my own script, etc. And you get all of the 3D models that aren't in the free package on the first um, episode of this series. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you guys. Um, tell me if you have any recommendations. I'm sorry for the lack of videos. Summer started. Happy summer. I hope you guys... Um, are gonna use it wisely, do a lot of crazy shit, have fun, maybe learn something, a thing or two. Currently, um, I'm getting into music, I'm learning FL Studio, I know it sounds cheesy as shit, but I like it, I wanna learn it, and um, hopefully I will. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.